and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some items to share with you today from Up To DIY. And um, they were kind enough to let me choose some bits to share with you all. So I'm gonna start with this one on the top and I'm gonna try and move the one on the bottom out the way for you because I do have a couple of different things today. So this is an off the canvas item. I've seen quite a few people do these. Um, and I thought it would be fun for me to unbox one and actually show you what's in it. So this is one of the glitter bear key rings where you basically stick diamonds all over the bear and you have a key ring. Now, one thing I have already noticed, this doesn't come with glue. So you will need some form of glue for this, but it does come with a bear. It's a pretty sturdy bear by the looks of it. The feet do move. So the feet move, though a weird way. Can he sit? He can't quite sit, but he can stick his legs out a little bit. The arms do move and the head does turn round and it comes on this latch key ring. You do get a load of diamonds in the colour that you chose. So I chose sort of more of a bronzy brown and you do get a toolkit for the diamonds but you don't get glue so do bear in mind you will need some strong form of liquid glue and you will probably need to do it in sections so I've worked with PVA glue on a canvas before that was missing a little bit of sticky and I did find that using a wet glue it does slide about a bit more there's something about poured glue, of course, it's not wet. You've not just tipped it on. It has had chance to sort of get tacky. Um, so depending on what type of glue you use, you may find that this is a project that you do in stages. So maybe put some glue on one side, you know, position the bear, use his legs by all means, and his arms, prop his leg up, <laughs> um, pop glue on it, on one section, put your diamonds, let it dry, and then maybe move on to your next section. Um, but I think he's quite sweet. And I've seen a lot of people do these, so it, it must definitely be something that pe people like. But for those that were unsure, that is what you get in the box. You get a key ring, you get your diamonds, and you get your toolkit, but you will need some form of glue. And then you can decorate him in sparkly bits and pop him on your key ring. So that's number one. Um, let's go for number two being another diamond painting item. And then I'll show you an item that they do that's not diamond painting, but it definitely attracted my attention. And I'll show you why. Um, so this, oh, this is just, it's just calming. Take a moment. There's nothing like a meadow, is there? Um, I love the colours in this. And this this is one that I may well actually do and frame um, and put up in my home. It's down as a 30 by 30. I just think it's that nice, calm, relaxing feeling to just go on that little wall or in that little space that just needs something. It is just over 24 and a half by about 25. Let me just check that that 25 isn't due to the fact that it's been folded. No, uh, not quite, it is just short of 25. But I just think it's gorgeous, it's simple, but it's really nice. It does have 22 colours though. It does come with a toolkit. 22 colours, it does have DMC numbers. And these are the colours. So we do have some browns, of course. We have the gate, or the gate post to do. What colour is that one? 20. Oh, 3371, very dark brown. And then we have some gorgeous greens and oranges. Lots more greens, little bits of orange, a bit of lime green, I like a bit of lime green. Um, browns, muted oranges, yellows yellow slash orange, greens and a few greys for shading. Yes, I think this one is definitely going into my 
moustache. Some I sort of decide as I'm packing away if it's one I'm going to keep or share the love. I like them all. I pick them all because I like them. I just have to limit how many I can store. But I think this one is definitely one that is that is going into into my lot. I can see that on the wall in my house. And then last but not least they also do um, a few other things that aren't diamond paintings and this one caught my eye it's class as a challenger but it is an elephant wooden puzzle and I was really quite interested in these oh it's quite thick wood as well let's have a look let's tick out some of the pieces so it's quite thick wooden pieces, but if you have a look, though this one is still slightly connected, let me disconnect that so I can't cheat. It does have little animals inside as the pieces. Let's find a white surface. So can you see we have a little elephant that goes in with it. This actually does look quite difficult. Uh, we have another elephant there. So some, you can see that, you know, they might fit in some feet. Oh, this is going to keep me so busy. But they all have the pattern on one side. So at least you know what side you're going on to. But because of the pattern on the elephant itself, it's actually quite tricky. And it, see that again, I think that one is actually... A space for you to put the feet of an animal. Let me see if I can find any other animal. Oh, look, see, we have another elephant with different colourings. There's another elephant. I'm trying to work out if that actually is an elephant. Oh, we've got an elephant's head front on. So that's one. That's another elephant, or maybe it's a rhino. That looks like a different type of animal. So there are some pieces that are just, of course, the small pieces that you need to push together. But there are many pieces that are actual animals. So I suppose you could start with the animal feet shapes, potentially finding one that fits. One that fits inside like that and then build from an animal or maybe you try and do the rest before you add the animals in but now of course I keep wondering which is that that one that looks like it's that one yeah so that fits onto that one and then you just go looking around for maybe feet is that a foot or is it a tail? I think it's a foot that sort of fit together and build it from there. Yeah, that's going to keep me busy for hours. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's really, it's just eye-catching as well. So treat yourself, especially, you know, come this, let's put them back in the packet actually. I was just going to scrape them into the box. But I think I'm best putting them into the packet so I don't lose any because this is definitely something that I am going to give a go. I'm sure I'm going to have for great fun. And then once I've finished, oh, now that, see, I just dropped a piece. Better get that back. Um, once I have finished, I think I might let my niece have a go because she loves things like this as well and that will keep her proper entertained over Christmas. And she's 30, but you know, um, yeah. So elephant jigsaw. There are a few different other styles of jigsaws that are on their site as well. So if you like something a little bit different, bob over and have a look. But yeah, thank you so much to up to diy for sending me these items. Absolutely love them. Um, think it's going to be 
yeah, I'm, I'm going to be entertained. That's that's exactly what works for me. Um, so thank you so much to them for sending me them. I will pop the links down below for you all. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.